Hey everyone and welcome back to the Amber Living Log. This is Beyond Film School and I'm Amber and today we're talking about the film distribution battle between AMC and Universal. <laughs> So before we jump into the video, please remember to subscribe if you are new to my channel and hit up that PayPal link. It really helps me out if you are in support of me, what I do, and if you support Beyond Film School. Giant thank yous to everyone that's already contributed and given me some funds and uh, bought me a coffee. Uh, and you can do the same thing. You can buy me a coffee and support me and how I make these videos. What's going on between AMC Theaters and Universal? Why is this feud happening? So the sequel to Trolls, Trolls World Tour, was to be released in early spring. Now, because of the coronavirus, the pandemic, all movie theaters were closed and Universal was not going to not release this movie. The movie was ready to go. They wanted to test the waters and they wanted to see how the movie would do if they released the movie on video on demand, VOD. So they made the video available for customers to rent for $19.99. On a business standpoint, you're like, why not? Everyone's sitting at home, especially all those kids. They're just sitting there at home. Why not make it available for people to rent? It turned out that the experiment of Universal releasing the movie on demand was a huge success. It grossed almost $100 million. With that success, Jeff Schell was recently interviewed to say, quote, as theaters reopen, we expect to release movies on both formats. Now that quote from Jeff Schell is a bit problematic. So you might be thinking, why is it such a big deal? Let Universal release the movies the way they want. That's where it gets a little bit tricky. Now, the relationship between studios, movie studios, production companies, and the theaters have been a little sensitive throughout the years. And that sensitivity only grew more with the emergence of streaming services like Netflix. So Netflix produced The Irishman and they wanted to release The Irishman on Netflix as well as in theaters at the same time for a date and day release. But AMC wasn't having it. So AMC refused to screen The Irishman. Now this tricky relationship goes back all the way to a court case in 1948, US versus Paramount Pictures. The court case addressed the violation of antitrust laws. Now antitrust laws address monopolies, and as you know, monopolies are a bad thing. That means there is no competition, and in this world of capitalism, you want competition. The studios were monopolizing the whole movie market. The ruling for US versus Paramount Pictures came out seven to one, ordering the studios to divest themselves of their theater ownership. So for all you filmmakers out there, this is where the film distribution puzzle comes from. I actually have a video on Film Distribution 101. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave that link there. From that point on, theater chains had a lot of power on how movies were released and where they were released and what theaters picked up those movies. From that point forward, studios basically had to prove that their movie was going to make the theaters money. Theater chains could choose not to screen that movie or you had to pay them to screen it. Now back to AMC and Universal, their feud. AMC Theaters is one of the biggest theater chains in the country and pissing them off is no good. Traditionally, how film distribution works. Once you are done with the movie, you are going to pitch that movie to the theaters. Theaters will decide whether they want it or not. If they decide they want it, they are going to negotiate the window of time that that movie is only available in theaters before it is available anywhere else. Why is this window of time important? An average movie ticket in the United States is anywhere from $10 to $17.50 if you're in the New York, New Jersey area. If that movie is available to rent or buy at home, it can be anywhere from $9.99, $4.99, and that's way cheaper than that movie ticket. If I'm on a budget, which most people are, I'm gonna save some money and I'm gonna rent that movie at home instead of going to the movie theater. I only have that choice when the movie is available in theaters and it's available to rent or buy online at the same time. Now, this is where the theaters win. With that exclusive window, if this movie that is being released in theaters, it's only available in theaters and it's a really, really great movie and I can't wait to see it. So that's where theaters win. When people don't wanna wait and it's a big movie, then people come to the theaters and spend their money. With the current situation with the coronavirus and movie theaters being shut down, it's totally understandable that Universal will release the movie on demand. It makes sense. But to say that will continue once the theaters reopen is, I think, not smart on Universal's part. I think that's ultimately a slap in the face to all the movie theater chains. Studios and theater chains have to work together for this whole thing to work. I, for one, love going to the movies and I do not want to see movie theaters die out. The more money that theater chains lose, that means more theaters will close down and that means less places for me to go see a movie and that means that the prices will go up. So needless to say, AMC was pretty upset when Jeff Shell came out and said they would continue to release on both formats once theaters reopened. In response to Jeff Shell, AMC came forward and said that they 
will no longer screen any of Universal's movies. Their response, while petty, I understand it, is also not smart. Now, Universal is a studio and they're also a distribution company, so that could really, really hurt Universal. But it can also hurt AMC because they'll have less movies to screen. So how can this hurt Universal? A lot of movies go to Universal to be distributed because they have access and relationships with all the movie theater chains. Now, if you take thousands of theater chains out that are owned by AMC, that lessens their spread of distribution. And a lot of movies will probably choose to go another way when it comes to a distribution company. And they could lose millions and millions of dollars. So either way, Universal and AMC are going to lose money if they do not continue to have a relationship. Universal wants to be in as many theaters as possible, and AMC is gonna wanna screen the big movies that Universal releases. And not only do they lose, I think with AMC losing, Universal losing, the consumers lose as well because if a certain movie is released from Universal and if AMC doesn't have that movie in their theaters, that means I have to travel farther or wait longer to see a certain movie I want to see. So the saga continues. What was Universal's response to AMC saying, no, we're not going to have any of your movies in our theaters? Universal was like, no, 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 that's that's definitely not what we meant. The, he didn't mean that. We uh, we need you, you need us. You know, this is all a big misunderstanding. Um, as of right now, AMC hasn't responded to that. I think that um, the threat of not carrying their movies was enough to scare Universal. AMC and Universal just need to kiss and make up already. Um, they need to put all this behind them because once this pandemic is over and once theaters open back up and production gets back in full swing people are, are gonna be hurting to make money because right now no one's making money. I think ultimately Universal was a little bit too excited with the success of Trolls World Tour and how well it did. This scenario that we're in, this whole pandemic is unprecedented. So I think this whole thing is a fluke. If all things being even and normal with theaters being open, it probably wouldn't have made as much money. And they can't really chalk it up to be any more than that, just a fluke. I mean, if if we're all being honest, I think Jeff Shell should just not said anything, that he shouldn't have said a damn thing. This feud that AMC Universal has right now is really, really silly. We haven't made anything since March 13th and it's now almost mid-May and that's a lot of time where a lot of people could be working on production and theaters are gonna be hurting for new content. So I think they're just gonna brush this under the rug and this is not gonna be a thing. It's not It's not gonna be a thing anymore. So that is it for this week. Um, I'm really thinking that AMC Universal will totally get over this and this whole thing will blow over once theaters open Open back up and Universal needs movies to be released and they and AMC needs movies in their theaters. This is like the ultimate pissing contest. It's so so stupid. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, tell me what you think about the AMC and Universal distribution film battle in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Feel free to email me at beyondfilmschool at gmail.com and make sure to hit up that PayPal link. Help me out if you are in support of Beyond Film School. If you are supporting me and what I do, that would help me out a lot. Feel free to visit my website beyondfilmschool.com. Follow me on on Instagram, like me on Facebook, all that jazz. So that is it for now and I shall see you guys next time.